Hi, welcome to Connective TV. I'm Jess Derude. Today we're joined by two fantastic females on the couch. We've got Kerry Webster, who is the State General Manager for Victoria and Tasmania, and we've got Janelle Pierce, who is the National Head of Commercial Introducers at Westpac Broker Distribution. Ladies, thanks for joining me. Right. Pleasure to be here. Now let's start, let's learn a little bit around what it is that you do at Westpac. What about you, Kerry? Uh, well, at Westpac, I, I lead the team of um, business development managers uh, to support the broker business. So my role is really to make sure we have fantastic relationships and make it incredibly easy to do business with us uh, and to work with the fantastic connective brokers. Very good. And Janelle? Uh, my role is leading a team of senior partnership managers across the country. And in our business, our role is to, to help to grow uh, business lending and business clients uh, within Westpac uh, through your network. Now ladies, I believe congratulations are in order because Westpac was ranked number one, best of the best in the advisors, what was it called, the third party lending survey for 2015. What do you think that's tipped you over the edge in terms of making you the favourite this year? Well, let me say first of all, we're absolutely thrilled with the win. I bet uh, you were. Couldn't be prouder of, of uh, the work that we've put in to, to get there. And it has been a journey over the last couple of years. Uh, and I think we've made a fundamental shift away from just focusing on the homeland transaction and really working with our brokers um, to help grow not only their business, but also our customers' relation, our end customers' relationship as well. And I think that's, that's come through in the results. So incredibly proud. One of the other things we've focused on over the last couple of years is our digital transformation. And our digital strategy has been really key in terms of making it easy to do business with us. Uh, and also in terms of enabling our, our business development managers or BDMs to be uh, more accessible and, and uh, able to do more things on the road and on the go. So I think it's a combination, combination of those things, but really proud of the win. Westpac mm. has certainly been very forward thinking in your digital adoption. It's been really, really good. Yeah, and I think that flows through into um, our retail space as well with our Bank Now rollouts of the new branches and also our Westpac Live. So you can see the, the themes of it coming through in everything we do. And, and I certainly think that, uh, that's, uh, that you, the brokers, have, have really um, enjoyed that and that's come through in the results. What about from a commercial perspective, Janelle? Yeah, well, to me, it wasn't a surprise that Westpac won the award <laughs> because of the way that we've been working very collaborative together uh, to help uh, you, the broker, to diversify your business. Um, one of the things we do very well is making sure that we're looking for opportunities to help you grow and also to help our partners within Westpac. So, you know, if we look at the uh, senior partnership managers in my business and the uh, BDMs in Kerry's business, it's about how do we work together to be successful and to also help um, you, the broker. Nailing it, very good. Now, Westpac actually won 18 out of the 23 categories, which is amazing. Where have you guys been investing to, to help achieve this result? Yeah, well, I think there's three key areas that we, I would want to highlight when we talk about investments that we've made. One is around our people, and I think that the, the business development managers absolutely. and the role that they do is absolutely critical. And, and across the business, um, not only in Victoria, but across the business, we've put on extra BDMs, which I think is, is well received and, and certainly is the, the benchmark of our relationship is, is the strength of that and our ability to spend time with brokers. Uh, and then what we've done with those BDMs is we really wanted to invest and make sure we had the best BDMs in the business. And I, and I think we've done that through our Best Banker program, which includes having uh, all of our BDMs go through a Deakin University program to ensure we have the most professional and, and best educated BDMs. Uh, so that's one of the areas I'd like to talk about. The second one is certainly, in, again, reinforcing our digital strategy and what we've done in that space. And uh, all of our BDMs are now fully mobile. Fantastic. Uh, in terms of their equipment and what they can do. And also, you know, from a broker point of view, some of the iPad apps and other things we've introduced uh, are, are market leading. Uh, and the third thing would be around our home owns campaign. So really trying to find um, tools and strategies to help brokers when talking to their customers. Uh, so I think it's a combination of all those things uh, that have, that have, have come has through. set you in good stead. Yeah, absolutely, Jess. Mm. And Janelle? Um, so definitely, again, the, the technology. So we've also enabled our team on the ground to be able to connect anywhere, anytime, uh, either uh, within Westpac or with their uh, broker network. Now, one thing that's very impressive in the results of this survey is that Westpac has come out number one in turnaround times two years in a row, which is very impressive. And all the feedback from our brokers is that turnaround times is, is absolutely key. Mm. Um, how is it that you guys keep, keep, keep that advantage? 
Well, I think the first thing is that we absolutely agree and recognise that one of the most important things is is time to yes and time to taking that customer out of the market and making sure that customer can actually fulfil whatever it is they're wanting to do, whether it be go to that auction, buy that house, sign off. So I think it's in the best interest of everyone. We're really proud of the fact that we've been leading in that space for some time now. But you can't get idle either. You've got to continue to invest in that, continue to work on it. Uh, and that's certainly been our approach as one of our key, key strategies is to, to ensure that we are the best in market in turnaround. So really proud of that uh, and more, more to come. We're continuing to work on it. Excellent. Yeah. A great example of that would be the express capability within our drive online system uh, for equipment finance. Uh, we have a two hour turnaround for approval and documentation, which is very much market leading. Absolutely, it sure is. Now I understand Westpac has had a pretty big year in terms of awards. We had your BDM taking out the, I think it was the best BDM in Australia. We had your home owns campaign take home an, another award. I'm not doing very well with naming them all. But in terms of your space, Janelle, are we seeing any awards in that area? Yes, yeah, so our trophy cupboard um, is also getting quite full. So we took out the financier of the year with the Commercial and Asset Finance Broker Association, as well as Best Business Bank and Best Equipment Finance Bank with ABNF. Um, so we're really proud of those awards. And um, you know, those awards are, are voted by the broker and also by, by our customers. So you know, that's what I think we're most proud of. Well, it was absolutely clear to us that Westpac are doing so well as our number one lender, you're kicking goals and we're absolutely thrilled to be partnering with you not just on Connective TV, but as a platinum sponsor and the Greater Connective Learning Program. Now, one final question for you two. It's not very often that I have the pleasure of sitting on the, on the couch, or I should say, <laughs> at, at the desk with two such successful females as yourselves. How is Westpac supporting your work-life balance and, and supporting women in business? Um, I think flexibility. Um, you know, you hear about uh, employers offering up a lot of flexibility for their employees, but I can honestly say that Westpac uh, supports that 100%. You know, not only with my myself and my female um, team, also the guys in my business. You know, they've got young children. You know, a lot of the um, things that our kids do, they're firsts. So you don't want to miss those firsts. And it's something that's supported right throughout Westpac. Um, again, you know, the connectivity that the team have now with their, their, their phones, their tablets, their laptops, they can dial in anywhere, anytime. And I heard a great quote um, last week, it was actually from Kerry's boss, Tony McRae, and Tony said, you know, work is no longer a place you go to, it's something you do. So, you know, we don't have to jump on the tram or the bus or the train every day to go to the office. Um, you know, we have that fle flexibility, which I think um, helps enormously. Well said, Tony. Very good. Mm. <laughs> and what about you, Kerry? Any thoughts on that? Uh, well, I think we're also very lucky to work for an organisation that has a very clear um, strategy around women in business and uh, making sure that we have equality and opportunity and the flexibility that uh, Janelle spoke in about and uh, obviously having a female CEO up until recently with Gail Kelly leading that uh, leading that march has set a really good tone within the business and really really pleased that Brian Hartz has come in and, and really embraced that as well and um, there's also a lot of programs going on such as the Equilibrium program which is one of Brian's programs uh, where we've taken some really key people from outside of the business, key women from outside of the business, bringing them in to groom them up for senior roles. So That's great. I think that just all helps to get the momentum going and, and make it really clear that we're here around you know, opportunity for everyone, but flexibility for men and women as well, because I think that's really important. Well said. Thank you. So Kerry and Janelle, thank you so much for your time. Is there any closing comments that you'd like to give for our brokers? Uh, just, a, just a comment from, from myself would be thank you so much for your ongoing support. It's an absolute pleasure doing business with Connective. I know it's great to hear you talk about us in such positive light, but certainly we love dealing with our Connective brokers. Uh, and it's all about relationships. So let's continue to, to, to build those and strengthen those and have, have great conversations. So thank you. Mm, I, I think I just echo Kerry's words. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, Connective are our fastest growing uh, aggregator group in the commercial and equipment finance space. So, you know, we look forward to seeing Connective um, continue to, to do great things with Westpac. Well, Carrie Webster and Janelle Pierce, thank you so much for your time. It is an absolute pleasure to sit beside two incredibly intelligent and hardworking and successful females in our industry. That was Connective TV. I'm Jess Darouche. Goodbye.